have I got a tip for you. Cutting ingredients to perfection or with consistency is a pretty important thing in the kitchen and in professional kitchens, it's essential. Knives are really great, they do a great job at it, but what does an even better job is a mandolin. A lot of people are scared of them, but if you know what you're doing, they're just amazing. This is Japanese mandolin. This is my favorite mandolin because it's really cheap. It's really stable. I can adjust the sides and get perfect, perfect slices, super thin to pretty thick. I actually think it's the safest just because it's got one little blade. I know where the danger's at, it's right there. Let me show you how to use it. I wanna start slicing, dude. So there's some basic practices. First one, of course, having a sharp blade. Really sharp blade makes all the difference, just like a knife. Second thing is you want, when you use it, you want it to be stable. Food, whatever you're gonna slice, cut it into something kind of manageable, something like this. So it's nice and stable, a couple slices. I'm gonna test for thickness. Those are a little too thin, so I'm gonna dial this back. Whoop. I like it, looks good. So I'm gonna, while this is planted, I'm gonna ride the cucumber right on this edge here. I don't wanna go in the middle or off to this side, it's a good reference point. You can close your eyes and feel safe. Don't do that. Look at all these slices. And that's pretty much all you need to know um, when it comes to using a Japanese mandolin. They just come out gorgeous every time. Since you know how to use it now, you should probably put it to good use. Go try making the ratatouille recipe. Everything on top needs to be sliced to perfection. It's a good challenge, good practice, so take a stab at it. These are good. I'll eat the scraps. Mm.